we're stuck here in bottom mount. Now, I still need a frame coming in. So the frame that we're gonna use is my forearm against his belt, Stefan, if you can sit up, please. You see how my forearm is completely covering his belt here. Stefan, come back down. He can still hold on to me, but note how, furthermore, my shoulder acts like a frame, so that way I can still expand my chest. I'm gonna split my feet. I'm then gonna go and bridge up, so that way my hip is off the ground. Once I get my knees back in, I can then look to re-guard and then assert my frames so that way I can start fighting from the guard. Let's do that again, Stefan. I have my frames in, I turn, so that way I'm on my side, still having my forearm into the belt. I'm gonna invert enough so that way I can get my knees inside, lift Stefan up, fighting from the half guard, fighting from the butterfly guard, and then I can go, and then win a better position. When Stefan has my neck, I still want my frames inside. Do you see how I'm able to go and squeeze in my forearm? I'm gonna push against his shoulder, and then do you see how I wanna be able to go and just move my head somewhat. Now from here, I can't turn to my side, but I can still use my foot. My foot scrapes out, and then I'm gonna use my heel to be able to go and control his heel. I'm gonna pinch down, and note how Stefan's knee on the ground is a frame for Stefan. I wanna turn his leg into a lever. I do that by lifting up his knee. Once his knee is down, what I'm gonna then do is that I'm gonna shrimp out, I'm gonna shrimp out, I can use my hand to assist, and then I can start to fight from my half guard and then come up. But I'm looking to go and turn his leg into a lever. Note how from bottom mount, I have my forearms in as frames so that way I can still breathe extend my leg, I'm then gonna go and scrape my leg along the ground like it's a spatula and his foot is a fried egg. My leg comes over top, I wanna to find his ankle, I'm gonna squeeze tight. His knee coming off the ground creates a lever for me. I can then use my free hand, check the knee, shrimp, 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 and then fight from my half guard. In bottom mount, I want to go and try to bridge. But unfortunately, I can't just bridge Stefan in an attempt to roll him. He's going to go and post his hand down. You see how as I go and try to turn him, he posts his hand down and his arm acts like a frame to stop motion. Thus, I need to either trap his arm or my favorite way is that if he's controlling my neck, I let his control be the trap that I need in order to go and bridge him up and over and win that turnover. I'm gonna win a little bit of space here just to free up my neck. From here, I wanna go bring my feet as close to my hips as possible. I'm gonna bridge him the wrong way first, and then as he alters his weight and he transfers his weight back, now I'm gonna bridge, and then because of the fact that he's underneath me, he, can't, he cannot post along the ground, and then I'm in his closed guard, and I can look to pass. Let's do that again, please, Stefan. He's controlling my neck. I go and I have my frames inside, I have my arms to go and support a little bit of weight, bring my knees inside. I'm gonna bridge him the wrong way first. I'm gonna absolutely bridge him this way, and then as he transfers back into the middle, that's what I'm gonna bridge as hard as I possibly can. Because of the fact that he's holding onto my neck, it's gonna go and stop him from being able to post. 